Welcome back, dear friends and deep thinkers, to Baldur's Gate 3. We're in a dank crypt that we've cracked. It's just about to start. It had, it had like, it, it was really hard to crack. It was like, yeah. But we had a Sturion and we gave him every, every help that we could. And now, um, there's a couple of things we want to do. First, we should probably... Look for some traps here. Mm, you have these armed many traps here. There's, this thing is full of traps. Some traps you cannot even reach. There's a button. And of course, whatever you do... I mean, this thing has been full of traps. Let's press the button, right? I'm I'm gonna be honest here. I kind of expected to for this guy to come alive, but now we've pressed the button. Something has changed. I'm sure. Hey hey. Hey hey. <laughs> There's another door here. Heavy oak doors. I'll send the Starion first. Oh, an interesting chamber. What do we have here? Fern. It's fantastic. There's surely going to be a lot of things here. There's an opulent chest. Iron candelaber. It seems a bit ruined, which is why there's something down here. Is there... Are there? Hmm. Hey, we got some money. Already gotten a lot of stuff out of this. Wait. There's door. Another opulent chest. some light oh yeah um let's move what I wanted to do um I should have light right where's my light didn't I there's light I think I've done that already though because no dark vision you see, or you don't see. We feel a little bit... With haste. Yeah, after that first... Oh look, there's a torch. After that first room with all the traps... I mean, these traps might have been destroyed. There's a gilded chest with a silver necklace. Ah, oh, we're gonna be filthy rich with this. I'm sure. And it's all for good um, to remove the tadpoles from um, from our heads. So there's that door, that small door, and a bigger door. Let's first go through that small door. We're not a bard, but we picked up this instrument and we might have... Well, <gasps> what's happening? We're in the refectory. Something happened to us. Hey, hey. Candles received some burning. I can hear... Well, hello. ...stuff. What can I do for you? Oh, hello, Asterion. Um, you know, you should open that door. Mm. What a day. No lock, no handle. How does it open? Mm, no lock, no handle. No lock, no handle. How does it open? Open locked. Looking ahead. Uh, <laughs> 
Okay, we can't see much. Maybe Astarion can... Yeah, oh, I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting I want to... Careful, I might. Can you examine? Can you see something? It's a sturdy door. It's rather strong. Only a hit that deals at least 10 damage can damage it. All right, I mean, we have the possibility to do that. There's the candles. What else can we see here? Oh, there's something written here. Look at that. Whole set of parchment in this. And this also doesn't really look that friendly. A skull eating a pergament. Scroll. And I, I, I used to think these statues, these headless statues were like, they were missing the head. No, I think they were created with the head. And this is another chamber of horrors, maybe. The refectory. Maybe someone walled them in. I'm really, these candles okay. haven't lit up. Maybe we need to light up all the candles. Is that something? Maybe... Oh, these candles are not yet on. And another candle. What candle we do? Oh, there's another candle. And another one. <laughs> I'm shocked. We solved some kind of riddle. Mm, this could be an explosion here from that barrel, but... What is it? Something happened. There's someone here. This... Woman? Cannot reach the destination. Ah, can we, like, can we delay? Hmm. What could we do? Flee combat, tides of chaos. I'm really not sure what to do. Let's move a bit forward. Um, we could play a tune. A rousing battle chance. <laughs> Oh, 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 maybe you'd better stop before anyone starts throwing rocks. Okay, all right. Oh, oh no! What the freaking hell? Is he already dead? He's poisoned already. Oh, goodness me. This is a bit... Um, dangerous. Oh, we're at a disadvantage already. Curses. But we have to do something, we have to attack somehow. Otherwise we're all gonna die. Great. Sneak attack melee, nah. Grease bottle, healing. Le potion de healing. Mm, I mean he should attack in theory. Make it hurt. But he's poisoned. He did it! Wonderful. Um now drink and um, here we go mm -hmm. kind of hard to hit isn't she what's this turn undead that's no undead or is it I'm not sure might be a bandit sacred flame Oh, 
forty percent. Nah. Okay, let's just attack then. Emmanuel can do something. We could shoot. We could use a magic missile. Yeah, well, the magic missile would hit. I mean, I think we should do it. No longer poisoned, Mr. Asterion. That's pretty fantastic. Now, that was Mary. The Bloody Mary. We've got Thief's Tools, a dagger, short bow, and some leather armor. Mary, Mary, Mary. Oh, ah, this is, I think this is an explosive barrel. I'm not sure, but this red thing. Yeah, we could have done that. Hmm. Got to be careful. I don't even remember what to do. There's that torch. There's a door, but let's maybe first look around here. Before we have anyone else here. Well, no, not the lever! Leaper again. Come on. Close that door. Thank you. <laughs> the levers. Yeah, it's... There's a book. There's a book lying around here. That book. What is in that book? Dense rows of scrolled text. A few legible entries seem to detail the names and final words of numerous individuals. Come see this, it's move! May Pinner, laboratory explosion. Mm -hmm. Rothcress, waylaid in a never winter alley. You're blocking my light? Dana Ree. Water Davian Featherlung. Okay. What is that? The Book of Final Breath. Pick that thing up. We're <laughs> we could sit on that granite bench. Ah. And contemplate the last breaths. Are we are in a death cult thing or what? Oh, this is so dark here. It's so dark here. That seems like a magical darkness. What's in that ways? And in that ways? Ah, an ancient scroll. Though a bloom of mold has leached the ink from most of this scroll, it's beginning, it's still legible. The sealing ritual. Oh, God cares not for petty ritual. There's only the sealing, and it is vital that we observe it with exacting reverence. On the day of the sealing, a mixture of bone and ash is consecrated. Upon the names of the dead, we spread the offering, imbuing the ink with the essence of death, our God. Okay, ah, uh, yeah, this is a death cult. And, whoa. A death cult. So we have found a dank death cult. There's a lever, so we'll not go here first. We'll go here first. Who knows what's behind this door? It's a sturdy door, but it's open. Mm -hmm. but this looks creepy. This looks extremely creepy, this darkness with a light. Why is Imanu first? Because, in easily, um, we have most armor at the moment, I think, and hit points. There's nothing here. Maybe in this wooden bench. We cannot use the wooden bench. There's a row of books. The Mortal View, Eyewitness Accounts of the Baal Spawn Crisis. We'll read it if it's short. Um, uh, it's kind of short. Let's see, maybe we can find out more about this guild. The guild seal on the inside of the cover belongs to a printmaking collective in Baldur's Gate. 
Of course, I remember. Knew the second that girl was walking that she'd be trouble. Little thief always in everyone's business. And that ward of Gorion went right along with her. No surprise a wicked god's blood was running in their veins. That is something that you should know, you know. If you've played Baldur's Gate 1, you will understand this. Sarawak and his lot are always the first ones that come to mind. You know, this all started with a bit of iron in Nashkel. Everyone thought their weapons would rot out of their hands. Back then I thought the problem was bad trade. Never took the man for a son of Baal. Amnian mercenary, interviewed on his deathbed. <laughs> That's okay. Shadows of Am. That's Baldur's Gate 2. You dare speak that name to me. My mistress was turned to ash fighting those forsaken wretches. I curse Baal, I curse Iranicus, and I curse you, hostile vampire, as color cutler slums. This might be that it, it this this crypt is somehow really connected to our faith. The five tore Tessa to pieces. I don't think anyone expected more Baal Baal spawn showing up would fix the war that a pack of them started. Then again they were all inclined to killing each other, eh? Good riddance. There he is hoping every last one of them has been wiped off the face of Faroon, Saradish merchant, retired. I'm not authorized to be talking about any murder with someone like you. Take it up at the sea tower if you want to argue, but honestly, who cares if a Baldspawn got it stuck to them? Their father's the killing type, after all. Flaming fist gauntlet, Baldur's Gate. Several hundred more interviews follow. Most of them tours. Okay, so... That's the mortal view and death and divinity. Now that's also short. Death is too powerful force for even a single god to contain. It's a duty that has been passed from hand to hand, splintered into smaller pieces, disease, war, funeral rites. But there must always be an overseer of the cycle as life falls away. For countless eons it was Jurgal, the god, lord of the end of everything, presided over mortality with his unblinking stare. Until even he grew weary, young Baal, Bane and Mirkul must have thought themselves conquerors when they came for the god of death, yet he used their ambitions to free himself. Merkul claimed primacy over death from Jurgal's bargain, but even he does not rule death alone. What is murder if not the most violent of deaths, seized by Baal in his incessant greed? What need would there be for noble Kellum war to judge passing souls, if one deity could hold the process entire? Even gods can die after all. Those who worship death should remember that. Above all else. Interesting. We'll take all the books. Take the books. I mean, we're a sorcerer, but still. We're still interested in books. Oh, yeah. oh, maybe our noble upbringing. We have gladiatorial sandals. Road dust grey clothes and scruffy vagabond clothes. Oh, we'll take everything. Ah, <laughs> uh, there's a bed and there's a mirror. But That's interesting. Passed. Still me, even after everything. There's another pile of books. Ah, uh, there's more mortal views. We can sell these maybe one day. And there's another stack of books. The Unclaimed, the sturdily bound story of a cleric of Shah, whose soul was never claimed from the City of Judgment. What is this? Oh, it's all relatively short. In life, her service had been impeccable. Daily did she devote herself to the Lady of Loss. It's all about death gods here. Daily did she free herself from the tyranny of memory. All in time was lost to her, her relations, preferences, even her own name. Upon the altar of her devotion placed she the ultimate offering her emptied mind. And when she died, when she awoke in death and found herself standing in the pale and faded city of judgment, she waited for the Lady of Loss to retrieve her. A million souls and more passed her in colourless gusts, but no hand materialised in her hand, no voice whispered instruction in her ear, no guidance proffered itself from the bleached and barren sky. Time, immaterial time, passed around her like air, coming and going and still. The goddess did not come for her devotee. Kalamvo pitied her, as much as the Lord of the Dead is able, but could not intervene. This cleric of the Lady of Loss, unclaimed despite her worthiness, might yet have one more lesson to learn, that of not forgetting, but being forgotten. 
Oh, the creepiness. I love it. There's something under the bed. Is that a monster? No, it's a pillow, I think. No monster under the bed. This had been another door. There's a stool and we can't com could contemplate the bowl. We surely have a ton of useless things with us. Murray. Now there's something here. I'm... Oh, there's another lever on the other side. You know, it's, it's, I kind of don't want to go there. We're unraveling a mist. Ah! Andorn. Who is this Andorn? And where is he? Oh, he's up here. We could shoot him. I could give him a ray of frost. Let's see how he's armed. He's got a... He's got a talk. He might... Um, <sighs> I don't know. I mean, 55% of, of getting 4 to 11 damage done. That's roughly 7 or 8 damage. Then... We got this, that's also 55%. Yeah, it's a ray, so it's the same. It's less damage, but would it decrease the movement speed? He seems to be armed with a close combat weapon. Which might... Yeah, it might be an advantage to... Ah, uh, we rolled six. We could go Tides of Chaos. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gain advantage on the next attack roll, ability check or saving. Yeah, let's do that. Great, we missed. <laughs> okay. Um, let's go back a little. End the turn. And Dawn is coming. What? He can even attack? Well, I... But he missed. He missed. We could move behind him, then attack. And then we would have him flanked. I believe. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I mean... <laughs> Oh, oh, gods, what, what is that? There's more. Barton, Sefri, Toga, Hazaid. Uh. Okay, we have to end turn here. We got a kill. We got a kill. Can we somehow kill? Blessing of the trickster, guidance, oh, I don't know. Hmm, I don't like this. Oh god, we'll all be dead. How many are there? Oh my goodness me. Uh, there's four others. And they made us burn even. I mean, we have some, some healing pots. These are just half-naked cultists, but still. Okay, it's my turn. We need to get out of this fire. I get here. That would be an attack of opportunity. Guy is... yeah, seven damage. I don't know. Yeah, that's too close. Quarter stuff is uh 
It's just a very bad weapon. Magic missile would of course hit. Mm. I mean we could eliminate him here in here and now. I think we should do it. We can fly until the end of the turn. Okay, um where can we fly? Maybe up, up to this place? I'm not sure. Um, I would rather drink a potion of healing. And then we can go back a little. Shall we dance? Happy dance, mister. Um, I don't know, 2d4 healing. He's not burning though. So how about you hide here? Can't give up, not now. Okay, my Mrs. Shadowheart. You need to run away a bit. And then drink Don't something against the burns. They're coming. Hopefully they'll start burning now. Ah! Hamstring shots. That guy's dashing. <sighs> Dipped in fire. Oh, gods. He's coming to the other side. What the heck? Mm-hmm. Need to hit this guy. He looks like a Dwerga. I don't know. Uh, what did he do? He's... He's got a bow. Okay. Then we'll just shoot him. Critical hit! Ha ha! Ah, wonderful. Um... We'll get in here around the corner, I think. Next to the cheese, I don't know. On my way. There's some blood here. Shall we cut and run? Mm. We need to kind of get somewhere else, but we also got a short bow here. Right, so if we got, we could go here and then shoot. We could like go over there. Moving. Move over here. Can we shoot this guy now? Yeah, it's far away, but we can. Ha ha! Fantastic. Um, we're not burning, so we'll risk not to heal. Wish us luck. Focus. All right, all right. Um, guidance. Mm, resistance. Blessing of the trickster. Turn undead. Ah, I'm not really not sure. Maybe she should heal herself again. Maybe we should try to defend. Mm, rush attack. Firebolt. How can we firebolt? Firebolt anyone? That guy maybe here? Reduced movement. Hamstring. But if we could we could make uh I don't know where this is going. Let's just see. Uh, do we have to move before we do that?
I don't think we have to. We'll we'll try that. Here we go. Okay, we're hamstruck. They'll come and they're burning. Ah! That guy's not burning anymore. Ugh, ice knife. Eh. And there's that other guy coming. Ooh hoo hoo. Um. 65, 65, 65. That guy is burning. <laughs> She's got mage armor. They haven't got mage. Wow, they are really. This guy has the fewest hit points. Stuff. Mm. Let's change to the melee weapon set and move around a bit. Where do I go from here? So we definitely need to heal somehow. Um, spiked bulb. Pass interrupted, but not here. Need to find a way forward. Need to hide. Let's finish this. Okay, dear Shadow Heart. Uh, still have our firebolt cantrip. We somehow we could hit this guy for some no not enough movement no they are too far away okay 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 bonus action can trips guidance uh, Need something to to help. Okay, we'll just give us the resistance. That resistance. They're bleeding. Ow. Damn it, we're dead. <laughs> They're bleeding at least. Death saving throw successful. Yay! <laughs> um, okay, I mean, we could. We should. 65%, 65%. There's this guy who is nearly dead. And there's this guy with the burning stuff. Yeah, let's, let's attack this guy. He's nearly naked. Wonderful. We could get him. Now let's drink something. Concentrate. Now, what could we do? Um... Bring them down. Ah, uh, that didn't work out. That didn't work out, I guess. Okay, we're not burning. They could just kill us, though. And also, I'm not op very optimistic about the mage. I've got to risk it. Wow, he missed, thankfully. Oh, well, they're trying to kill Imanu. That guy's raging. Oh, thankfully that wasn't too strong. 
Okay, Asterion. I mean, it's time to down that guy, I think. Come on, you can do it. Apparently you cannot do it. But hey. Need to stay focused. 55%. Firebolt? Nah. That's too close for the firebolt. I don't feel good about this. Oh. We should revivify Emmanuel, but... We have to down these guys. Well, a little bit of damage. That wasn't really great. We can still do something here. Dip. Jump. Shove. Uh, I mean, we can try. Curses. Electrified water. Oh, goodness me. All right, you know, there's uh, something that we need to do if we want to serve. Oh, we have an advantage on this guy now. We've got to kill him. Okay, okay, okay. Now, um... Yeah. Got to wait. We need to revivify Manuel or we will be... Or we'll be just dead. And then we will heal. <laughs> Great. <laughs> oh, we've been defeated. I'm sorry. Um, it might be this is a little bit <laughs> above our level. But I think we did relatively good. Um, we were also out of most spells already. So what to learn from this is we should definitely rest in between. Where's the bloody lock? Where's the bloody lock? Yeah, we'll already solved this riddle right ignite all the candles stunning enough mm. this is you can see it run in run cut run over ah Great, now we've got a Starion and he can't reach the destination now. <laughs> so great. Mm. Can we somehow hit her? opportunity attack no not really yeah we can't do anything here she's coming 
in basic poison. Ah. Oh, and she missed. That's great. Okay. Yeah. At least it's no skeletons. Was that was that she who was doing that? Tide of chaos. Do we need that? Mm. Oh, let's just use it. Come on here. Tides of chaos for the win. Can't give up. Uh, curses. Now, um, use the rapier. Wonderful. Ah, oh, we missed her. Oh, great. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. All right. I see. Down that potion. <laughs> Well, here they come. Here they come. Heading there. The sacred flame. Down with you. Tarion. Use the bow. Forty nine percent. They all seem ah oh God, I hate it. We will we will throw a grease bottle over there, I think. Here we go. Ah! We're ensnared. Great stuff. Um, Manuel is still speedy. This guy around the corner. Steady go. A sacred flame. Thirty six per cent, forty per cent. He's saved. Yeah, this this thing will explode, I'm pretty sure. And that's also the trick about this encounter. Do not get near there. Or get them to go there. I didn't know they were here. Mage armor. Yeah. Here they are. Story on Lost. Ah. If I fell down or what? Disadvantage. We're immobile. Hmm. We'll try to hit that guy. Yay! And he's dead. Now let's drink. Ah! The hamstrings. Need to destroy these guys. Uh, 65. 70% on that blue guy. Ah, 
Hit him! My goodness. Mm. We need to be an additional target, I think. Yeah, there's no way around that. There's no way around that. Still hasten the bit, I hope. That will be enough. We can do sacred flaming. Time to deal some punishment. At least a little bit, you know. At least a little bit. Mage armor. Okay, she so she lost her own mage armor. That guy is now. Oh, he's jumping. Freaking hell! Ah, need to destroy that guy. Mm, the barbarian. Oh, that was good. We're gonna do this. Um, you need to go, Mr. Guy Man. Need to go behind you. Yeah, he's a barbarian, so you cannot really flank this guy. We'll still try. Uh, the mage. Oh great, he's he's also raging. Whoa! -ho -ho -ho. Not good at all. I mean we have advantage against him. And missed him. Oh, wow, that's just super great. I don't really know what to do here. I think we have to rethink all of this. Let's have a look. He's level 2, they, they are level 2, they're level 2. And we have a good chance, but we're just not doing enough damage. We, we should look out for maybe another companion. Another companion would win us this. These guys are murdering us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Emmanuel is still on with that great potion, but. Yeah, whom should we take out now? This guy, Torga. Oh, we would give him one, and we would give this guy the next two. Ah, that didn't work out. We need to load. So, we need to solve this encounter in the next episode. Now that we know how they get there and why all of this happens we can prepare namely that they're coming from that door right of us exactly so have a great time until next time and happy gaming this is Manuel Khan signing out see you soon have a great time until then and we might just go out and um, yeah get another companion and then we'll have a great chance of solving this see you soon have a great time until then and happy gaming until next time. See you soon.